we have to find the reverse of a string without using the function string reverse str rev so here we have the program include your library functions followed by your main function then we have to get the string from the user is done using enter string and we are getting the string further we are assigning the value of i to be 0 and j is already initialized to 0 over here we are having an array called str and the length is 100 so using the array str how are we going to find the reverse of the string let us see that initially the value of j is taken to be the string length of str subtracting one from it you get the last position so your j will be pointing over here and whereas your array's i will be pointing over here and we are storing it in the temp that is your ith position is stored in temp followed by your jth position is assigned to your ith position and your tenth value that is your n is stored into jth position of your array so that makes g to come over here and n to come over here a simple swapping logic is applied over here and further we are incrementing your i that is your i will be next pointing out to this position that is you are incrementing your i and your j is decremented that is your j will move on to the previous position that is to t and your i will be in this position so further your while loop will be executing until your i is incremented and your j is decremented so this swaps the letter and finally when you print your str array you will be getting the reverse of the string pretty simple right so this is the logic behind string reverse function these kind of questions are highlighted in wipro and hcl technologies technical rounds